be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video is going to be a pretty dope one. Although it may seem simple, this is going to be a lot of information in it. So check this out. Basically, what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you how to create a MIDI track in Logic Pro 10. But I'm going to take a step further and I'm also going to show you how to convert audio files into MIDI as well. So let's go ahead and jump in. So what is a MIDI track? Basically, MIDI is like computer data that's used to trigger um, certain instruments, certain different things within your uh, DAW. Okay, so um, it's how you basically make all your melodies and drum patterns and different things like that through MIDI. And so what you would want to do is to start off with a software and instrument track. Okay, you go default patch. Um, under here is instruments, so you can grab anything from there. But we're going to just, for demonstration purposes, start off with this uh, default patch. Start off with a software instrument, then under instrument default patch. Push create. And technically, the MIDI track is created. But what you want to do is just come over here um, and then click control. And then say create MIDI region. And that completes the, the, the process because now technically we can go ahead and write some MIDI data into this. So if I double click that, it's going to open up the piano roll and then we can come over here and start, you know, putting notes in here. And then I can continue the pattern all the way over here right so that's pretty much how you create a midi track in logic pro 10 but like i said i'm gonna go ahead and go a step further and show you some more stuff so i'm gonna delete this and what i want to do is i want to find a piece of audio something from apple loops potentially <laughs> Okay, this is going to be a good one to use. So what I'm going to do is I want to basically take the, the notes that are used right here um, in this audio file, and I want to convert, convert that to MIDI. When I convert it to MIDI, it's going to give me more control over the sound because now I can take the same notes that I played in the audio file and put it on a MIDI track and change it to a different instrument. Um, but how are we going to do that? So the first way, or the only way really, we're going to go ahead and click out of that and you want to make sure that your flex time is selected. Okay. And that's this hourglass that's like horizontal up here at the very top, right under the uh, transport window. But we're going to go on the actual track here, we'll make sure this is done. And then um, you want to click it down here as well. But instead of going to like polyphonic, what you want to do is go to flex pitch. And what that does is it basically finds the notes kind of turns them into MIDI but you're not done yet what you want to do is you know you go over here to the scissors and then instead of going to foul go to track all right make sure everything is still turned on you have your flex pitch on and then go to the edit section and then scroll down to you see create MIDI track from flex pitch data you can click that button and basically now you're gonna have a MIDI file that's going to coordinate for the most part with what's going on in this audio file. So this could be very useful for like creating samples or recreating samples. You know, you can grab an audio file and then quickly find the main notes. Okay, 
So something like simple like this, you just drag it in here. All right, get on the actual track, flex pitch, click on the scissors, make sure you're on track instead of foul, and make sure everything is turned on here, flex pitch and everything. And you go down to create MIDI track from flex pitch data. So anyway, you know, you might have to still come in here and move some of the MIDI notes around, but it's a quick way to get in here and get something started. So pretty much that's going to be the video. Um, you have two different ways uh, when it comes to creating MIDI tracks here. One is creating a MIDI track from scratch, and then another is creating a MIDI track from audio. Hope you liked the video. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button if you liked it. And make sure you leave a comment. I do respond to those comments. Just give it a, you know, a few hours, 24 hours or whatever. I'll get you a response to your comments as well. Last thing I'm going to say is make sure you head over to my website, beatmakingbasics.com. Okay. On my website, you can get royalty-free loop packs and drum packs. Um, this is exclusive stuff, meaning that there's not a whole lot of producers that have it yet. So you want to go ahead and go to the site and grab, grab those sounds, grab those loops and everything like that. We also have some mixing templates. So if you struggle with mixing your beats, you want to check out some of those mixing templates. Okay, We have anything from a beginner to more expert level mixing templates. And then last but not least, we have courses um, ranging from everything from the melody creation to drum pattern creation, how to make beats in Logic Pro 10, GarageBand whole lot of other things and we have a bundle deal there as well go check it out beatmakingbasics.com and if nothing else get subscribed share the video like it all that good stuff thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one This is going to be showing you the ins and outs of how to make your own drum patterns, your own melodies, how to arrange your beats into song format, as well as mix your music like a pro, all in Logic Pro 10. And best of all, there's several bonus videos that's going to show you how to make beats in different genres and for TV and film. So this sounds like something that you would like to learn how to do. Go ahead and click through and get enrolled now, and I'll see you on the other side. Mm -hmm.